What's up guys, Saigamer here, and today I've got another video for you. This is kind of a couple of things pushed into one video. Now I know I've not had an update for a couple of days. One, I've been a bit busy, it's been holidays and family round and you know, the crap. So I've not been able to get out a video recently and I'm sorry about that. Secondly, I want to say thank you for 100 plus subscribers. I logged on, I'm like, what? 105 subscribers? Yeah! That is amazing and I really do appreciate the support that you're giving me, subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. I didn't expect to get anywhere near 100 subs yet. So that is really pro. Now, in this video, I'm giving you a bit of battleground um, just while I talk about a few things and then I'll finish off with just going over what I'm doing in the battleground. It is a Warsung Gulch and for the majority of it I do have my wings, my 1.5k strength, uh, strength trinket and the 30% Berserker buff thing. So as you see I get some pretty heavy uh, hammer wrath crits off which I love. But back on topic, um, in terms of channel updates at the moment I'm, I'm a bit stuck for what I'm going to keep on bringing you. It's going to be mainly WoW content but I'm running out of guides. I want to do a 150 non-combat pet guide showing you the easy and most effective way of getting 150 non-combat pets because there's going to be a spectral dragon thing out in a 4.2 which looks pretty cool so a lot of pet collectors are going to want that and a lot of new people that don't really collect pets are probably going to want it just because it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'll try and get an hour guide for that. I also want to do an A and X guide, which is for the phosphorescent stone drake. Which, jeez, my voice went then <laughs> for the phosphorescent stone drake, which um, you probably see me riding on. <laughs> so I want to do a guide for that as well, because I had a few messages regarding that. Also, someone said they want to see a sea turtle guide. I've been thinking about it, but I can't think of a effective way to come up a, with a guide for it because basically all it is is fishing in Northrend or Cataclysm schools of fish and being a lucky bugger. Now I've tried to get it for a good year or so now just been fishing I must have fished a good like 5,000 fish or more or something insane just going for that stupid buddy sea turtle and I've had no luck so it is basically just a luck based mount so I'll see if I can come out with a guide for it but it's one of them that you don't really need a guide for it. But I do appreciate people giving me suggestions. I'm not trying to bring him down or anything. It was a good suggestion because he probably obviously doesn't know where it comes from. But the fact of where it comes from is a different story. Someone else mentioned doing some raid guides. Now I do want to do Firelands raid guides. But I don't really want to do current content. Because it's a bit old and we've only got a few weeks left of it before it's over. And most people are going to be watching Tank Spot or something like that guides. So there is really no point in me doing it. Now, what else have I got for you? Um, I've got Rift, but I've started it and got bored at like level 4 because the first few starting levels are always boring, especially for people who've played MMOs before. So you need to get past them. So once I get past them, I'll start frapsing. Um, so I'll bring you some Rift just to see if I like it and if you guys might like it as a not an alternative but something else to do while you're not reading or something in WoW that's when I plan on playing it I'm 1.5k rated in my arena team which is pretty cool for me I've never been that high before you're probably like oh my god that sucks well to me it's pretty cool because I've never taken PvP seriously so yeah it's quite nice I don't know why that mage didn't spell steal me seriously if you ever come up I know I shouldn't really be telling you how to beat a paladin if you ever come up against a red paladin that's beating you and he pops wings, then just either CC the crap out of him until all his cooldowns wear off, or get rid of his wings. If you're a mage spell stealer, if you're a druid, eh, not druid, a shaman, you can um, purge it. Seriously, it's really, really is important to get rid of paladin's buffs and CC them while they've got the burst, because with burst, paladin can pretty, take, pretty much take down most classes. Without burst, yeah, they're pretty dead. Like, a good hunter will just be able to kite the crap out of you no matter what, so you can't even get near him with your burst, which sucks. Back on topic. Um, what else do I I've got Black Ops, if you want to see any Black Ops, I've got Terraria, even though there's like a million Terraria videos on YouTube at the moment. 
So if you want to see some Drury, I'll do that. I might try and get some friends involved so it's a bit more fun for you. I've got Minecraft, if you want to see some Minecraft adventures, but once again it's a game that's fun with more than one person, like just having a mess around and having a laugh. It's just hard getting, like, I don't know, good people to play with, <laughs> people that aren't going to be idiots. Although you, you might want to see some of the idiots that I've got. Uh, I want to do rated battlegrounds, but I need to get more people in my guild and more PvP oriented. I am the GM, so I am responsible for doing crap like this, unfortunately. So yeah, I do need to get a few more people in the guild and get them raiding, no not raiding, PvP in. So I want to do rated background soon. If you are on Storm Scale or you want to make an alt on Storm Scale, you're welcome to join as a social or a PvP. -er. And if you want a raiding guild, we're nearly 12 or 12. We've only been going for like four, three weeks. We went started basically when I started doing videos, strangely enough. Um, so... Yeah, if you want a raiding guild or a PvP guild or a social guild, we've not got many PvPers at the moment, but I am looking to expand that. I just want kind of a big, fun, social PvP raiding guild. Something that we do progress quite well, because we do raid four nights a week. Um, so yeah, I want to make some serious progression. But also, there's three days of us doing nothing, so I'd like to do like social raids or fun raids or... Try and organise some world events, some rated battlegrounds. I don't know, I just like doing things like that. So yeah, you're welcome to join if you are on Storm Scale. As long as you're not going to be an idiot and abuse my peoples. Because that's not cool. That's not cool. Back on topic again, I'm terrible. Um, what else do I plan on bringing you? As I said, there's Rift, there's more WoW. I wanted to do some WoW guides still. Uh, there's... Not much PvE content I can bring you at the moment, and there's not much PTR content I can bring you either. I know it sucks, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, as soon as there's anything decent on the PTR, I'll bring you more of that. As soon as I can come up with any more useful guides, I'll bring you some more guides, because you, you do seem to like my guides. My PvE Rep Paladin guide did well. My, um, what other guides did do? My ZA guide did well. My... Buried and hold first look, that was PTR stuff, I guess. But yeah, my guides seem to do quite well, and you seem to all like them. I see this rare mount guide that's got 5k views now, so that's pretty cool. Um, someone's making me an intro for my videos, that'll be pretty sweet. So I'll get that up on its own once he finishes it, it's gonna be another week or two yet, but yeah, quite excited for that. Um, if any anyone wants to play Black Ops with me or anything on Steam or some Terraria or just let me know because when I'm not doing anything I'm up for gaming pretty much all I do is game I love to game that's me down to a T also the reason I want to do rated battlegrounds is have you seen the new PvP mounts for winning like 100 rated battlegrounds I think it is they look amazing especially the hard ones they look absolutely pro and that's the battleground over so yeah that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Um, I thought I would have had longer than I did. Please thumbs up, please subscribe, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the support so far. Please check out my videos. See ya.